Hercule Lands by Charles Hoy Fort, Part 1, Chapter 5A. Smugness and falseness and sequences of readjusting fatalities, and yet so great is the hypnotic power of astronomic science that it can outlive its mortal blows by the simple process of forgetting them, and, in general, simply by denying that it can make mistakes. Upon page 245, Old and New Astronomy, Richard Proctor says, The ideas of astronomers on these questions of distance have not changed, and in the present position of astronomy, based in such respects, on absolute demonstration, they cannot change. Sounds that have roared in the sky, and their vibrations have shaken down villages, if these be the voices of development, commanding that opinion shall change, we shall learn what will become of the Proctors and their absolute demonstrations. The lights that have appeared in the sky, that they are gleams upon the armament of marching organization. There can only be one explanation of meteors, I think it is that they are shining spear points of slayers of dogmas. I point to the sky over a little town in Perthshire, Scotland, there may be a new San Salvador, it may be a new Plymouth Rock. I point to the crater Aristarchus, of the moon, there, for more than a century, the lighthouse may have been signaling. Whether out of profound meditations, or far ago and bewilderment, I point, directly, or miscellaneously, and, if only a few of the multitude of data be accepted, and formulable perturbations rack an absolute sureness, and the coils of our little horizons relax their constrictions. I indicate that, in these pages, which are banners in the cosmic procession, I do feel a sense of responsibility, but how to maintain any great seriousness I do not know, because still is our subject astronomical triumphs.